Hello everyone, I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and welcome to this fourth video in our series on Leela's opening repertoire where we're going to be having a look at Leela's uh, thoughts about 1E6, the French, and 1C6, the Karakam. Now, I've got to warn you with the French, it's going to get a little bit weird because after 1E4, E6, and I can tell you I let Leela think for a very, very long time because I was rather confused, um, Leela's main line is to play Knight C3. And, um, well, you would have thought uh, that um, after d5, this will just transpose to, um, uh, you know, d4, back into a mainline French. But in actual fact, and yeah, if you go to d5, then that's Leela's intention. But in actual fact, Leela wants to play knight f6. That's Leela's main move. And uh, the follow-up is uh, quite surprising. It's e5, knight d5, knight e4, which isn't what you normally see with the French. Um, however, um, again, I asked uh, Leela's biggest fan, Mr. Beads, to check this on his uh, nuclear-powered Leela altar, and uh, he got exactly the same result. So, yeah, just uh, weirdly enough, this, is, um, uh, this, is, uh, this has been played. Funny enough, there's a game, Aravind against Mamad Yarov, uh, that uh, where black played, uh, knight, white played knight takes d5 rather in this position and um, uh, amazingly enough we're still following a game a uh, bit of genius there from the uh, players back in 2015 takes takes knight c6 knight f3 and now um, knight db4 was uh, a previous game leader wants uh, knight b6 bishop d2 knight takes e5 little tactical trick there queen d4 i think is the uh, is the one queen d4 queen d5 100 percent sure um, so knight takes e5 bishop b5 check Knight c6, queen e2, bishop d7, rook d1, bishop d6, castles. Castles, bishop e3, and Leela considers that uh, white has got um, um, yeah, a slight advantage, you know, probably going to pick up this pawn, uh, sacrifice pawn, sometime soon. But it's really weird, right? I mean, um, I was yeah, very, very surprised by, uh, by that. So, um, well, after letting Leela analyse that for so long, I had, of course, to, uh, to let it just look at normal lines as well. And that's much less surprising. So um, we get uh, d4, d5, knight c3, and then Leela's favourite move is knight f6. And this is actually the favourite move of all of the engines. We've seen this quite a few in this uh, TCC uh, bonus where uh, uh, Komodo, Leela and uh, Stockfish take on the other engines. Uh, whenever the, en the other engines have entered the French, it's normally the Steinitz and it's normally 1-0 as well. So um, e5, knight fd7, f4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop e3. The irony actually is that um, actually all of the top engines think that this is basically a draw. Um, if white plays for um, uh, this main line, takes, takes, and then queen b6. Uh, but this actually only seems to be the top engines that presumably can calculate as deeply or evaluate as well to, um, to understand the main line. Um, and that's uh, queen d2. Queen takes b2, rook b1, queen a3, bishop b5. This has been played in loads and loads of uh, elite games now. Rook b3, queen e7, rook b7. Queen h4 check. Uh, queen f2 takes, takes, bishop e7. This is Leela's uh, preferred way of playing. I think that, um, um, pretty sure that uh, Stockfish was playing queen d8 followed by queen c8. Uh, in actual fact. I think there was even in the recent British Championship uh, a game that followed Stockfish's analysis for, uh, for quite a way. Um, so, yeah, you know, all these lines, basically the engines consider them to be, uh, you know, perfectly fine for black. So, um, actually after queen b6, Leela wants to play a3. Um, so not to uh, give away this pawn. The idea of a3 is uh, obviously that if queen takes b2, then knight a4 traps the queen. So uh, this is the main line, bishop c5, knight cb5, um, a6, b4, ab takes, queen c5, queen d3, which is... Pretty decent, really. Uh, I, you know, I quite like this as, uh, as an idea. You know, it's uh, Leela doesn't think that it's anything too amazing for um, for White, but certainly looks uh, you know playable this way. And uh, this actually a game Pichot against uh, Friedman, uh, Dubai 2021. And instead of Bishop B2, which was played by Pichot, Bishop D3 is Leela's move. E5, Bishop C5, Rook F7 takes castles but well you can see uh, opposite colored bishops are uh, are coming Lila gives it a 0.15 advantage for white um yeah i guess uh, probably due to the d4 square that uh, that lila has got and uh, some of the dark squares around the d5 pawn a week but you know obviously black should be able to uh, to draw this with uh, with good play 
Um, so that's uh, you know that's actually probably the reason why Leela's looking for uh, the other stuff you know against uh, the French uh, Steinitz. But as I said it really takes a top engine to uh, to do that. Um, I also got Leela to have a look at uh, the Winnower Bishop B4. Spent 152 million nodes on that, and uh, quite interesting actually because uh, early on in its thinking, uh, Leela was uh, really showing its Alpha Zero roots again because uh, um, it was playing uh, Queen takes G7. Rook g8, queen h7, takes knight e2, d takes c3, f4. And now, you know, more or less the automatic idea is knight c6. Maybe you go bishop d7 first, but then knight c6 after. But um, in um, one of the games between um, uh, Stockfish 8 and, um, and Alpha 0, which was run actually from uh, positions from the TCC Super Final um, season of that, uh, of that period, then um, Alpha 0 played bishop d7, queen d3, and knight a6 which had only been played maybe yeah, four or five times in, uh, in human games. Funnily enough, Ali Stein also uh, uh, played this against uh, Stockfish in the TCC Season 16 Super Final before uh, got a very good position before playing one of its blunders and, uh, and losing. Um, so, but this was also Leela's uh, main line um, for quite a while. So Bishop E3, um, Knight F5, Bishop F2, Rook C8, Queen H3, a novelty from uh, Leela, Knight c5, g4, knight e7, knight d4, knight e4. The normal, <laughs> the normal winner of rubbish, you might, uh, you might say. And um, well, Leela ends up with a 0 0.26 advantage for, uh, for white. I mean, it's a typical total mess, really, but uh, quite interesting to see that um, Leela too really liked this, um, uh, this knight a6 idea, which is very, very unusual. However, after um, a lot of more thinking time, after queen c7, Leela wants just to play bishop d3, c takes d4, knight e2, um, takes queen g7, rook g8, queen h7, queen e5, and then of course h4. Has to be h4, doesn't it? And uh, well, this is Leela's main line. I mean, there's quite a lot of theory behind this. Bishop f4, queen f6, bishop g5, queen h8, takes, takes, knight takes c3, a6, g4. And yeah, I mean, this is a pretty promising position for white to play. I mean, been analysed a lot. Um, I remember a lot of analysis in Emmanuel Berg's um, excellent uh, book for quality chess, where it was a, a series of three books, I think, on the French defence. Analysed these positions in some depth. But, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's two bishops, past h pawn, huge imbalance in the pawn structure. You know, I think it's um, a very promising way to, uh, to play for white. And, uh, well, Leela, Leela gives it 0.25 uh, advantage, you know, which is uh, obviously not winning, but, uh, well, plenty of uh, fun and games along the way. So that is the uh, the French, more or less. Um, yeah, strange main line from Leela, and then the uh, the good old Steinitz is the main line. But we've seen that many times already with uh, all the top engines are choosing. So the Karakhan, 1c6. What will Leela choose? Will Leela choose Stockfish's knight c3, or will uh, Leela prefer e5? And uh, well, Leela goes for uh, for e5, which is uh, not too surprising. Um, most of the engines prefer it. Alpha Zero preferred it too. Um, so um, not too surprising that Leela goes for it as well. Um, actually, Leela's main line is basically all known theory. Um, one interesting thing is that um, uh, Bishop F5 is Leela's main move. We'll have a look at that soon. But C5 is the, Hen the Henkin Arkel system, played a lot by Igor Henkin, um, uh, Israeli Grandmaster, and also by uh, England's Keith Arkel. Um, and um, it was a big favourite of Stockfish 8 when it played against um, uh, Alpha Zero, also a favourite of Botvinnik as well. Um, and actually, Leela's favourite line is a line that um, um, Alpha Zero played an awful lot. Bishop d3, knight b4, knight c3, takes, takes. And uh, yeah, quite unusual pawn structure. I mean, black's got the two bishops, but the, the center's quite blocked. And uh, white's got potential for expansion on both sides. You know, h4, h5 is coming. And you could also do something on the queen side as well. I mean, alpha zero got a, a huge score against Stockfish 8. I mean, this was really, I guess, the type of position where uh, neural nets are really in their element. And uh, well, we look at, a, at uh, two or three of those games in great detail in uh, The Silicon Road to Chess Improvement, my new book all about engine chess. Um, Leela's main line is to go um, bishop d7, bishop b3, knight e7, h4, h6, h5, rook c8, 
Um, now king e2 and g5, you know, really trying to strike back, not let white uh, establish a bind on the king side. To be honest, I find this quite pleasant for uh, for white, but uh, Lila gives it um, uh, something like a 0.20 advantage. But uh, again, quite striking to see Lila favouring uh, um, uh, an opening variation that uh, that Alpha Zero also chose. Just goes to show this, uh, you know, feels like there's some shared heritage there somehow. You know, a lot of the lines, of course, that all the different neural nets choose are quite similar. But uh, but this is, uh, yeah, somehow Leela just a little bit more following the uh, uh, example of Alpha Zero. So after Bishop F5, Leela's main line is big main line theory. It's the short system, uh, short defense, as people called it, uh, a bit sarkily, because uh, after all, allowing the, the, the black's light squared bishop to develop outside the pawn chain. Surely that's just uh, means that to white's advantage disappears completely. But um, and Nigel had seen it, had understood it very well, really, that uh, the bishop can be a target. It inhibits the development of black's king side. And, um, well, the fact that the light squared bishop is missing from the queen side makes the, the queen side uh, light squares and also the center a bit more vulnerable to attacks with c4. And, uh, well, I mean, Black's uh, defending this uh, with uh, a great deal of, uh, of opening theory, but it's quite unpleasant, really. So Queen d7, Knight c3, Knight a4. This is all, uh, all stuff that I've had in my files for years and years. Queen c2, Bishop e7, Bishop c5, castles, Queen c4, Rook e8, Rook c1. I mean, it's a slight advantage for white. These pawns are, are slightly ugly, and we've got a nice square on c5. But the knight on d5 is pretty strong. Pawn on e5 is a kind of a target. And black's basically pretty solid. So rook d8, rook e1, we're still following uh, mainline theory here. Uh, rook takes e5, and now uh, a4 was a correspondence game. Knight d3 takes takes was uh, was Leela's idea. Again, I'd much rather be um, be white than black here, but uh, I think with some uh, accurate play should be equal. Leela gives it 0 0.18 for uh, for white. So there we are. That's the uh, the French and the Karakhan. Not too many surprises in the French once you get past Leela's rather odd main line. But French Steinitz is the, the one that uh, that Leela and all of the engines think is the best defence. Um, and against the Karakhan, um, yeah, the uh, advance, a lot of engines uh, prefer that. And, uh, well, Leela going for uh, some big main line theory there. Uh, novelty at the end, not, you know, hugely significant, but uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, you could definitely play this uh, with uh, with white uh, trying for an advantage because, well, you know, broken pawns like that, it uh, often feels worse for a human player than for uh, for an engine. So there we are, that's uh, 1e4. We're going to have a look at some uh, other 1e4 sidelines, stuff like the Alekins and the Scandinavian in the next video. Stay tuned.